another late morning edition. Even shorts right here at the Rant and Share, smoking a pretend lucky strike. The rolled up floor sweepings of doom, but making do. And sorting out the world's problems one slow inhale to a time, or at least whatever passes for one today. Oh, in my last video, I kind of gave it a life updates thing. I'm, I'm kind of taking the day off because mom's gone and I rarely get peace and quiet. Old people are very fucking demanding, but so are little kids, you know. You just got to deal with it and love them while you have them, right? But uh, in the course of me getting caught up on the videos and housework and everything else, uh, I remembered today is the day, every day in history, never forget, that Vicki Weaver, Randy Weaver's wife, was murdered by the FBI and the ATF. By the way, um, his crime, he was forced, kind of goaded into, right, entrapment. And it was a very minor offense for short-barreling a shotgun without a tax stamp, which is perfectly legal to do. You just have to ask permission first. And instead of uh, pleading guilty and whatnot, he just, uh, he basically hid in his cabin in the woods. And uh, they didn't like this little smear on their little pecker tracked fucking crew cut kind of, you know, you little Brenner... America, right, where, where the government's Jesus and, and they're nailed to the sofa to crucify for our sins. So what he did was he told them to eat his shorts. And uh, oh, through the course of uh, the standoff there at Ruby Ridge, by the way, I grew up next to Ruby Ridge, Idaho, and I was around in the 90s for that, although I was a little kid. I even met Randy at the gas station one time, Miller's Grocery Store. He was actually a pretty chill guy. Everybody was afraid of him, though, after that little incident. They murdered his son, they shot his dog, and they shot his wife. And they tried to shoot him. And he, and he sued him, by the way, and he won. But they've still never been able to publicly apologize for their crime. Uh, they've still never been brought to justice for this crime. And these are the same motherfuckers that are making all these dumbass frame, receiver, oh, brace rulings, all of this stuff. Dettelbach, all of them. Uh, the one guy who was supposed to be in charge of the ATF at one point until enough people raised hell, uh, he was actually at Waco. Yeah, that's the same motherfucker. <sighs> Fucking nasty floor sweepings. Anyway. I want you to take this time to remember. These are the same people that scream guns are the problem and guns need to go away, yet they're taking yours away and, and giving themselves bigger and better ones on your tax time, okay? Defund the entire government all at once and hang anybody over, you know, the tallest tree that puts up the slightest bit of struggle for it, as far as I'm concerned. Fuck the government. You know, their stupid fucking rules can eat my shorts and lick my rooster tattoo, as far as I'm concerned. I do not like the damn Federalists. But it's the world we live in. And as always, uh, I'm going to finish this poor excuse for a cigarette and go lay down and watch a movie. So, I'll yak at you later, Internet.